And that line that line needs to be darker eventually, but yeah, that's okay for now. So because this is a fairly gentle colour, I can use it to kind of map out some of the work that I'm going to do in a moment. And uh, you know, when I go over with the darker colours I have, this is going to be relatively easy to cover up. But my hope is that if some of it shows through, I'll get some reasonably interesting effects. Uh, but, you know, like, like with everything, you've got to see see how it actually works in practice to be sure um, now that same color i think i can use on this side of the forehead as well so what i'm going to do is just swap brushes a moment and i've been putting the paint on more or less neat up until now in terms of this second stage of the painting but i'm going to put it on reasonably dilute and you can see the, the brush strokes I'm using are following the contours of the, of the forehead just here. And we'll see how that looks when it dries back. So in some senses, I put a little bit of a glaze on over the, the color I put down earlier. And I can kind of use that same technique here on the nose. And even here, actually, on the... kind of the towards the tip of the nose there and perhaps even a little bit here and let's keep going with that until it runs out which won't be very long at all Now I'm coming with a little bit of burnt umber and a little bit of cadmium yellow and also a little bit of titanium white and that is far too greeny a colour so I'm just adding a touch of the ultramarine blue. Let's see if I can get something a little closer. No, it's still too green but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I think I can get away with a little bit of green on the eyelid there and perhaps here up under the eye and even here in the corner of the eye as well and then perhaps just a touch here as well and even into the beard in that region and here as well Let's kill that little touch of white that was still showing through. I'm going to look, put a little touch here on the end of that eyebrow and a little touch there as well. And I think even here, down here, on just this part of the beard and a little bit here where the beard is just below the lower lip. And a little bit tucked in under there. So I'm, keep, I'm being a little more mindful of my brush strokes now that I'm getting into the beard. I want to kind of, you know, mimic the way the hair is falling reasonably well. And why not? Let's put let's put a little bit of that in on the uh, moustache as well. A little bit there too. All right, next I'm going to go for, you know, a really good, healthy amount of titanium white, a touch of cadmium yellow, and mix those together pretty thoroughly. Then I'm going to pick up some of the alizarin crimson 
and I've probably put way too much on there to be honest with you. Let's put a little, little dab of the um, ultramarine blue and let's see let's see what that looks like on the on the bridge of the nose okay that's way too light so what i'll do is before i remix i'm just going to squint at my um my reference here and use this color for some areas which where you know the lighter tone that i've got that i accidentally acquired you know where i can kind of get away with that so So over the top of the eyebrow here, it's really quite light. It's a light patch there. Could perhaps put a little highlight on the nose there. It's the wrong colour really, but um, you know it'll do for for the moment. Even put a little bit of this on the on the lower lip for now. All right, so that's not too bad for the moment. Uh, but what I think I need to do is add a little touch of the alizarin crimson, and this is you know you can see how strongly that changes the colour, just that little touch. Some more of the uh, cad yellow. again let's see what we get that's better but still not right okay so I'm adding some more of the alizarin crimson let's see what that does well that's actually not too bad okay so we'll go with that for the moment And I think perhaps I'll change the colour of that lip highlight as well. I think I can maybe even use a touch of this down here on the neck, just a little bit. And a little touch over here as well. And now I need to uh, introduce some more yellow to that same colour. I might need quite a lot of yellow actually. see what that looks like again it's a little too vibrant but um, we can see if we can get a you know reasonably dramatic effect by including more vibrant colors than they actually are I quite like the way that the I quite like what the what the yellow is introducing to the to the painting. I'm just going to put a little touch of that here above the upper lip as well. <laughs> 